Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video for all my fellow Obsidian enthusiasts out there. We'll be diving into the world of task management using the powerful combination of Obsidian and Todoist. With the help of the Obsidian Community plugin, Todoist Sync plugin, we can seamlessly integrate these two incredible apps. But first, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future videos like this. I also invite you to join my new Discord server, a central hub for interaction and discussion about productivity, knowledge management, and note taking, a place where you can ask questions, seek advice, and where we update each other. You will find the link in the description down below. But now, without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, let's quickly recap what Obsidian and Todoist are for those who may be new to these apps. Obsidian is a note-taking app that allows you to create and organize your thoughts, ideas, and information in a highly interconnected way. I will leave my Obsidian introductory video in the description down below. On the other hand, Todoist is a robust task management app that helps you stay organized and focused on your goals. Now let's talk about the Obsidian Community plugin called Todoist Sync plugin. This plugin acts like a bridge between Obsidian and Todoist, allowing us to seamlessly integrate our tasks into our Obsidian Vault. To get started, just head over here to the Community plugin sections, browse and search for Todoist Sync plugin, install, enable, and go to the options. First of all, you need to add a Todoist API token in Obsidian. And to do that, you just need to click here. And once you are in settings, integrations, developer, copy API token, and you can go back here to Obsidian and paste it here. Now you can leave the rest as it is, but of course you can change some settings according to your preferences. Now, to show and manage tasks in your vault, you need to write a Todoist code block that starts with three backticks and Todoist. After that, you can write your query, and in your query, you must specify two required keys. The name, the title for the query. Here, you can also use the task count template, which will show the number of tasks returned by the query. The filter that will accept a valid Todoist filter. I will leave the link to the Todoist filter page in the description down below, so you can take a look at the filters you can use in your queries. In your query, you can also use other three keys, the sorting that describes how to order the tasks in the query, can be any of priority, date, that is the ascending order, or date descending, or multiple of these. The group, where you can specify how this query should have its task grouped by project and section. The auto refresh, that is the number of seconds between auto refreshing. If you don't specify this value, the query will use the default global settings that for me is 60 seconds. Now that you know everything about how to structure a query, Let's try to write one, and let's suppose that we want to look at our daily and overdue tasks. I've prepared four tasks for this example. Here we go. One that was supposed to be completed yesterday, two that must be done today, and one for tomorrow. I also created two labels and two projects. So let's go back to Obsidian, and to write this query, we can use the daily quest name as a title. As filter, we can use the today or with a pipeline overdue, and we can sort them as date and priority. And with group, I just set it to true. And here you go. Now you know which task you must do today. Obviously, if you check a task in Obsidian, it will be automatically checked on Todoist and vice versa. So let's suppose that we completed the overdue task and I check the task here. Now, if I go back to Todoist, as you can see, I don't have the overdue task anymore. 
Now let's go back to Obsidian and let's suppose that you want to add a task to your Todoist account, but you don't want to leave your Obsidian vault. And to do that, it's really simple. You just need to open your command palette and search for Todoist, add Todoist task and give it a name, Obsidian task. You can write a description. This is a description. You can assign a project. So for example, project X, you can assign a label, label two. The date, I will choose the today's date so we can actually see the task inside the query that we wrote before. And lastly, you can assign a priority level, let's say a two level, and click on add. Now, if you refresh the query, you can see the Obsidian task under the project X with the description, with the label two and with the scheduled date. But if you go to your twist, as you can see, you have the task right here. And there you have it, folks. By using the Todoist Sync plugin, we can seamlessly integrate our task management workflow directly into Obsidian. It's truly a match made in productivity heaven. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon, and Medium for more productivity and PKM content. You will find all the links in the description down below. And just an heads up, the Paperless Movement released the new task management course. If you sign up through my iCore Expert page, you will have a three-day trial during which you can try all the courses you want. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you would like a dedicated video about Todoist. Until next time, stay productive.